All right, if you could just give me some random Scooby-Doo sounds, that would be great, and go. Oh, oh f poop! But maybe he was staring at her really, really nice set of bow tie. Is that not possible? He was staring at her bow tit tie. Do you? Do you? Are you coming on to me? I think my phone wants to see me without my shirt on. Hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> wow, that was clear! Hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> oh, no! no. <laughs> hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> Not Peter Pan again! Oh, my God! What the... <laughs> he actually said it! Oh my god, my, oh my abs, my six pack. This makes me think of Batman pooping snakes. I clearly cannot contain my immaturity when Peter Pan comes on. Hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> I can't do this! <laughs> hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> oh! Okay. Okay, I'm good. Hey, you fucking boy! <laughs> I'm not good. How you come on? Pretty good. Show us your balls. <laughs> Pretty good. Show us your balls. That's just an odd conversation. Pizza pan. Take the fat that moving snake. <laughs> Wow! Think of that man pooping snake! What an image! Take the fat man pooping snake! <laughs> Who drives a dirt bike at frickin' 1.30 at night? Suck my sour free milk, bitch! Say your body to the night! And if you play that backwards, you get this hilarious subliminal message. <laughs> I'm uh, not quite sure what that's supposed to mean, Sting. Oh, you're leaving? Oh, why don't you stay and loosen up my ass? Stay and loosen up my ass! All right, let's see. <laughs> All right then, all right then. The first part of that actually sounded pretty close to the original. <laughs> Apparently we went from sell your body to the night to sell your body to my ass. Oh, hey man, I heard you were looking to sell your body. Uh, why don't you sell it to my ass? <laughs> wow.